How plants survive. Class 4. Science. Plants can be found almost all over the earth. We can see different plants growing in different places. Seashores, desert, plains, and snow covered mountains. Look at the cactus plant and answer the questions. How many leaves does it have? None. What is the color of its stem? Green. Which part do you think carries out photosynthesis for these plants? Types of plants. There are different types of plants such as terrestrial, aquatic, insectivorous and non-green plants terrestrial plants plants that grow on land are known as terrestrial plants land has different features such as plains mountains and deserts some parts of land receive heavy rainfall some moderate and some very little Large flat areas of land are called plains. Lands higher than plains are called mountains. Mountains are generally colder than plains. Dry lands that receive very little rain are called deserts. We find different kinds of plants in different areas because plants need to adapt to the natural conditions of that area to be able to survive there. For example, you will not find a coconut tree in a desert because, a desert receives very little rainfall. Plants in Plains Plants growing in plains can be grouped into two categories. First is, plants in areas of less rainfall. Many of these trees can survive in a very hot climate, and may shed most of their leaves in autumn. For example, name, people, Gulmahar, Ashok, Shishim, and Sal. Another category is, plants in areas of heavy rainfall. These plants have leaves, that remain green almost all year around, and are called, evergreen trees. Rubber trees, Antique trees are some examples of plants that grow in areas of heavy rainfall. Plants on mountains Trees growing on mountains and hilly areas. Example, pine and fir are usually tall, straight, and cone-shaped. These features allow the snow to easily side off their branches. They are usually flowerless and have cones with seeds inside them. The leaves of these trees are needle-like and have a waxy coating to prevent any damage from snow. Plants in desert Only the plants that need very little water can survive in a desert. Cactus Baboo and date palms commonly grow here. To save water, desert plants have some features, they are. They do not have any leaves, or, have very few of them. Photosynthesis is thus carried out by the green stems. They store water in the stems, which become fleshy. Most plants have spines, or, thorns which further reduce loss of water plants in swamps. Swamps have sticky soil which contains a lot of water. It becomes very difficult for plants to grow here because their roots cannot breathe. Hence, some of the plants that grow here have roots that grow above the soil. Such roots are called breathing roots because they talk in air and help a plant to breathe. Plants on the sea coast 
coconut trees grow in coastal areas, because they can survive in salty water, and prefer areas of high rainfall. The seeds of such plants are carried off to faraway places by water. Aquatic Plants Plants that grow in water are known as aquatic plants. They are of three types. Floating Fixed and underwater plants. Stems of floating plants are light and spongy, so that they can float on water. Duckweed and water hyacinth are examples of flowing plants. Fixed plants. These plants have their roots fixed to the bottom of the pond. They have thin, long, and hollow stems to reach the surface of the water. The leaves of these plants are broad, and flat, with a waxy coating on the surface, to prevent them from rotting. Water lily and lotus are examples of fixed plants. Underwater plants grow under the water surface, and have thin and narrow leaves, without any stomata. Their leaves absorb gases dissolved in water directly through their surface. Tape grass and pondweed are examples. Insectivorous plants Some plants are carnivorous in nature. Their leaves are modified to trap insects, and hence they are known as insectivorous plants. Venus flytrap and pitcher plants are examples of such plants. Non-green plants There are many kinds of non-green plants. Plants such as Indian pipe and coral root are non-green plants because they do not have chlorophyll. Plants that cannot make their own food and absorb nutrients from dead plants and animals are called saprophytic plants. Let us learn the uses of plants. Plants are very useful to us. Every day we use things that are made from plants in some form or the other. We all depend on plants for food. Fruits Vegetables Oil Sugar Cereals Pulses Nuts and spices are all plant products. Tea, coffee, and cocoa beans are also obtained from plants. Soaps and shampoos have vegetable oils, which are obtained from plants. Paints also contain substances obtained from plants. Plant fiber, such as cotton and jute, are used to make clothes carpets, sacks, and ropes. Flax is another type of fiber that we get from plants. Coconut tree gives us coconut oil, coconut water, coil for making ropes, as well as an edible fruit. Trees are used to make paper and furniture. The hollow stem of the bamboo plant is used to make baskets, huts, mats, and walking sticks. Juice from the rubber trees is used to make rubber for tires and pipes. The juice of acacia tree is used to make gum. Trunks of trees such as shishim, teak, and sal give us wood for making furniture, doors, and windows. Many plants such as eucalyptus, tulsi, cinchonar, and neem give us important medicines. Dyes from plants are extremely popular. Henna, mohindi, leaves, are used for decorating hands. Summary Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. 
plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. Plants that are carnivorous in nature and trap insects are called insectivorous plants. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.